thinking a fair amount about perception recently and um, how my perception really has changed or how people's perception changes over time and uh, I don't mean ideas or ethoses or thoughts I mean physical perception you know for all I know I might be perceiving color far brighter than I ever have before I might be perceiving color far less some colors less some colors more blah 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 body perception you know how it changes over time and it's it's a weird thing you know I saw this recently in um, just an instance where somebody said there's a watermelon growing in the plant right watermelon and I knew immediately that I had to see this um, so we both went there to the location of the watermelon and uh, we were basically stood there watching a pile of weeds in the 42 degree heat <laughs> And I thought to myself, I've seen these weeds every day. I walk past them and I've not just walked past them and glanced at them. I mean, I physically knelt down and had a look at them because they've got some interesting galls and different insects that I hadn't seen before. Anyway, so um, I said, where is it? And he said, it's there, look. And I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it for the weeds and uh, as soon as he pointed it out almost immediately the entire plant the entire vine became visible tracing its way through these weeds the flowers everything you know and now whenever I even so much as glance at that patch of weeds it has the watermelon vine the watermelon vine is there I can see it and it's not like I can't it's not like an, I cannot see it now every time I glance at it this this pile of weeds I can't not see that watermelon so you know if something is becomes apparent then sometimes it's impossible not to see it um, and there's loads of examples where different people perceive different things people say that in the Arabic world that Westerners say it's barbaric to teach kids about uh, how to kill an animal um, it's barbaric to teach kids or adults how to skin an animal how to properly fillet an animal um, you know but in reality it's part of culture and it's not it's just a perception you know again another perception the, the freshly cut grass everybody knows this one freshly cut grass smells very fresh and nice and in reality it's a distress hormone emitted by the grass to tell other grass to get themselves ready for grazers get those compartmentalization and immune cells juices flowing you know it's not really a fresh smell the the, uh, the reality of it is it's dying grass telling other grass to watch the fuck out <laughs> and loads of other examples people I found out recently Russian people people that speak the language Russian because language has a lot to do with perception as well physical perception people who speak Russian they can see various shades of blue different to anyone else in the world <laughs> you know you can give them two blue colors that anyone else would say were exactly the same and they would say no 
and this is defined across you know the entire uh, well a large sample size of Russian speaking population so and the fact that it's defined across that population as well is very very interesting because that's the definition if you perceive something that's not there to anybody else then it's rubbish it's not really perception it's just your own perception it doesn't do anything for you where's the return on investment from your perceiving because the end goal in perception is really to allow you to function and live as long as you can in this suffering life that it is <laughs> you know what an amazing journey the past week or so thinking about this has been.